My name is Matil Panes. I am um, at the EPFL library and today I'm going to talk about Umpe Wall. Uh, the session will be recorded or actually is recorded and um, we will stop the recording at the end uh, when it's time for questions so that you feel also free to ask anything. Um, so in this short format, I will uh, dive in right now. Um, the learning objectives for today is to know the differences of uh, between the open access version of a paper that you can find um, in an, um, through the MPWall tool. And we will also discover how to use this uh, tool as a browser extension. Um, before we go on, I would like to talk about the notion of paywall. So the paywall is this feeling of being stuck that you get uh, when you find an article that you find interesting, potentially um, helping you in your research, and you see that uh, you cannot access it. Or actually, if you want to access it, uh, if you click here, uh, you will um, have to pay. Uh, so uh, they will uh, tell you a price and you can buy uh, access. Uh, and this happens even if you are connected uh, from EPFL library and that the platform, uh, the publisher platform here, it's Elsevier, recognizes that you are uh, part of EPFL. Um, and this is because um, in this case, we don't have a subscription for the journal. Um, it's not something uh, the library has paid for, for the community to access. And with this, I can make the point of um, maybe as an EPFL member, you have the impression you have access to almost everything. And this is because a uh, huge quantity of uh, um, subscription I, are paid for by the library. And uh, also sometimes uh, the content is open. So there are some open journals uh, that will give you access to um, their content. Sometimes it's the, only the article that is open or if you use other means that I will describe in a minute, you will be able to get an open version of a paid for article. So um, without um, going to define again what is open access, I would like to discuss uh, what open access versions you could access um, depending on the situation. So there are three uh, categories, let's say, that we like to define. The first one is the submitted version. Is the, it's the author's manuscript that um, in the state it was submitted to the publisher. Then there is the accepted version. This accepted, accepted version is the author's manuscript with revisions that come from the reviews that uh, the authors go, got in the process. And then the publisher or published version is the author's manuscript reviewed, so with the revisions and also with the publisher's layout. And that's usually the version you find on the publisher's website. And um, all those versions can be sometimes open access. So it will depend on the journal policy, the publisher agreement, the authors signed uh, when they, they published the paper. And it means that um, sometimes you could get, for instance, the submitted version or the accepted version um, while you don't have access to the publisher's version. Uh, I will um, show you how after. Um, but I will first present the Unpaywall tool. So Unpaywall, uh, it's an open database that uses rela um, 
reliable metadata sources to match or to find the desired paper in open access repositories, publisher websites, uh, and this uh, open database is up integrated with a lot of tools. Finally, uh, one of the tools uh, the MPWall team developed is a browser extension that will help you find the open access version of publications. And in that case, um, you will be looking or browsing or searching for, for articles and you will be maybe able to find uh, an open access version of uh, the article you are looking for, uh, even if it's not um, available through the library. The demonstration that I will start will feature the installation of the tool and also some example of going through this paywall with an, art, an article that is not available from EPFL and some other cases. Okay, so I see in the chat that someone has a, a problem, but I hopefully, I'm sorry for you, this is uh, the on. Okay, I'm going to go on. Um, so, no. <laughs> I would like to escape and go to Firefox. Um, here I am, I went to npwall.org, so that's the tool uh, website. And uh, if I click on get the extension, I have the possibility uh, here to add to Firefox. It's also available for Chrome. And once I click, uh, I am redirected this time to the Firefox add-on um, platform. And I can add to Firefox, which will um, open a pop-up here require me to accept uh, um, or to give permission to unpayable here and also here um, it tells me that unpayable has been added to firefox i click uh, to allow this extension to um, run in private uh, windows because this is the kind of windows i am using now so here I um, have the new icon that is um, integrated and I would like, I would need to restart Firefox uh, once to get it working. Uh, so that's why I am using another browser at the moment, um, just to have my examples prepared. So here you can see that I'm in the article that was actually uh, in the first slide, I think it's the same journal, and we have the same configuration. We have here, um, I have to click on get access uh, and to pay for the paper to have access to it. But actually, uh, my unpayable button is green. And if I click on it, I will have access to the publisher uh, version of the paper. So it's an example here where it was possible. I think it's because the uh, publisher changed. So it's the same journal, but the publishing house was is, uh, changed. So when, uh, when I look at this article, I could find a, a version of the, of the publisher version. Now I'm going to do something um, tricky. So as I said, at EPFL, we have a lot of content already. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect. Uh, be uh, like I'm not part of EPFL anymore. Just to show the, the difference here with this other article. So now I'm not recognized as EPFL anymore and I have this paywall. So, but what I, why I wanted to show this example is that here, unpaywall finds a version and um, 
you so sorry it's not very clear so what happened here is that um, it directly downloaded the pdf um, from um, the so let me do this again here it directly um, downloaded the pdf as you can see at the bottom uh, with the um, the publisher version, and that's a, a, an ex another example of, of it uh, working. Finally, um, I wanted to show an example where MPWall doesn't work. So the, here, uh, whether we are on EPFL network or not, it's the same. The icon stays green because NPWall couldn't find any legal open access version of this article. So here you had three examples. Uh, sometimes also it will uh, go through um, green open access repositories and give you the author version um, again. So I think it's uh, worth installing to, to, to try and uh, work with it. So um, coming back to, to the slide, there are other extensions, as I said, MPWall is based on, uh, no, MPWall is an open database. So there were other extensions that have been developed that will do basically the same job. And for Safari, there is the open access helper button, which works the same, but is compatible with Safari. And then uh, maybe, no, it's not a browser extension, but if you are stuck with finding access to a paper or a book or another publication, ask your librarians. So we'll try to find a version and we will also pay for it when needed um, and take uh, this opportunity as well um, to get access. So that's the end of my presentation. I would like to thank you. I'm going to stay here for questions. I already see things happening in the chat, so I'm looking forward. Um, and then in the, the next lecture uh, is coming up next week at the same time, my colleague will present PubMed um, and you will be able to find the slides and the recording of the presentation on the Coffee Lecture website. Um, and finally, if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask uh, us at formation.bib uh, at epfl.ch.